Something's under it. Yeah. Yeah. Are they? What have we got? Do you know what these are? Yeah. Do you want to see? Yeah. Alright, these are stud extractors. <coughs> what size is that one? That's the right size, I think, George. You see here, look. Yeah. You see these? Oh, yeah, they're still not going to fit, are they? But well, I think they need slightly smaller. Let's have a look. Let's try this one. Oh, look! Look, Daddy. Let's try this one, Daddy. Daddy, let's try this one. Try the slightly bigger one. Okay. That's the eight mil. I don't think they're going to work, George. No, I can't. You think they will? Daddy, let's try this one. Daddy, I'm going to go in my hand. Let's try this one. That's a big one, but I don't really need the big ones. It's the small ones I need. And this is a Ooh. six mil. Daddy, Daddy. What? Daddy. Daddy. Just get a spanner and try that. What are you doing, George? I'm fixing. Okay, try not to lose any of those bits and don't don't put that near the paint because you'll scratch it. Yeah. Yeah. You put the toe eye back in. <clears throat> you put the toe eye back in. Yeah. What's this used for? Um, to pull. Say this again. So it can't mind. To pull it. To pull it if it breaks down. Yeah. So we put that in. And then that goes on a rope, doesn't it? Yeah. What does the other end of the rope connect to? And then you pull it. You pull it, yeah. Yeah. Do you think we should have the car just pulled and taken away? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Right, so I bought a bolt, sorry, a nut extractor. Yeah. Or a stud extractor, didn't I, George? Yeah. Where are the stud extractors? Where are the, the, you in charge of these bits. Where's these four bits gone? Can you go and get them for me and put them back? Okay. Okay. Right, so trying to get these studs out. I bought a stud extractor kit, but it doesn't fit in this hole here. Um, so I can't actually get them in there to get the stud out. So I'm gonna try removing these other ones using a different method. I'll have to order another type of tool to try and get those ones out. But all I've done on this, a bit old school, put two nuts onto the stud, tighten the front nut hard up against that one and then when you turn the back one to loosen as you can see it's slowly taking it out you got one i got two you got two three ah. i think what, what one's that one eight mil that must be the six mil so yeah that even though it should be an eight mil when i put it over the stud to just reverse it to get it to catch it i think these have worn down to about seven so the six mil extractor doesn't fit because they're too big no 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 george don't do that the six mil extractor is too small to fit over the stud and this one is too big yeah. so unless we can find a seven mil yeah. stud extractor george yeah. then we're stuffed with that aren't we um these have worked really well so this is a bolt extractor kit that goes quite nicely. Uh, where are we? It's 58 mil. So this one has actually done some work on some of it. It doesn't. It really didn't really have the grip to get the studs off, but it has got all these bolts off quite nicely. But again, the extractor that needs to fit in there, the actual base of it is too thick, so that doesn't fit either. So go around, take as many of these studs out as I can, and then we're going to look at the bottom and see what we can do with that.
Okay, so we're back on the engine. It's been about a week. I've been waiting for various bits to turn up. So the issue we've got, I didn't already say earlier in the video, is the studs that are in here, here, and here, they're, they're just completely gone. Now, I've bought a endoscope, boroscope, whatever you want to call it, endoscope. I'll put it down there. Uh, where's the camera? So, hopefully I can show you I insert that into there and then we go over to this so this is the state you see there all the nuts have completely worn out on the stud and I literally can't get it out I tried putting uh, like a what do you call it a nut remover tool on there but it wasn't long enough so I then basically went and bought another one if you look at this one, second one there, look, a bit clearer picture, exactly the same. And the last one, yeah, so they are basically completely rounded off and I can't get anything on it. So, that said, just turn that off. This has like the world's longest cable on it as well, so not the easiest thing but 30 quid off amazon i think i was quite impressed with it 38 pounds something like that i will uh, put a link in the description so i bought a set of these and what these are is they're the the deep bolt extractors so with my current bolt extractors they couldn't get into that hole and then they were getting about this far in and they weren't catching the nut so i think this is the right one i, I put it on there earlier and just gave it a little twist and you see it started to catch the uh, the nut on there um so yeah so i'm hoping now in fact I'll tell you what this way of doing it is if we just take this one that stud that's exposed obviously that's how far we need to go in and even with that one we can get in there so i think what i've been doing is i've been catching the front sort of like part of the bolt like this area of the bolt here whereas I need to get right down onto the back so I'm going to try a slightly bigger one hammer that on and see if I can get it out so we'll catch back in a second see if that's worked right so now that we've got an endoscope I thought it'd be nice to have a look inside the engine so hopefully you can see this we're going to go in each cylinder one at a time so Quite a bit of glare. But hopefully you can see that. Right, so obviously cylinder uh, piston number one is right at the top. So let's go into number two. We've got some Yeah, there's a lot of sludge in there. I can't really get to the edges, do apologize. That looks like it's been sitting with liquid in it for quite a while because look at the it bores on the cylinder they seem quite mucky go to number three again I'm not seeing any damage at the top cylinder looks okay again a bit mucky and the final one and yeah, number four again right at the top so we can't see much the other thing we can check is the inlets so we'll go in here and I don't know how clear that is coming up for you but nothing looks bent Right, so I just checked all the inlets on the back and say so all of these are absolutely fine. So I can't see any bends there, but until we sort of strip it down a bit more, I won't know. We go down the oil channel. Not been down this one yet. Right, 
right, so that's our. What is that? Problem with these cheap endoscopes, there's only so much you can see with them. Oh, there we go. That's our problem, guys. Look, we got a big chunk of zinc in the sump, and now I can't get back to it. <laughs> Come on, okay. We know it's in the sump. Take some off. Do you ever have one of those days where you've tried absolutely everything and nothing's worked and you feel completely defeated and you just want to kind of sack it all in? That's today. So I bought long deep nut extractors. That didn't work. I bought a stud extractor set. They don't fit and that doesn't work. I've tried putting two nuts so a good old trick to get these studs out, two nuts onto there, tighten them up, and then turn back the one at the rear, which is kind of locked in by the one at the front. Yeah, that doesn't work because there's no access there because you've got this stupid thing in the way and that lip there and you can't get a spanner on it. Um, so we went down there with the boroscope and there's something in the sump, some loose stuff. Well, I can't get the sump off because to get the sump off, I have to get this bit off. So under here, excuse the camera footage. So I need to get these off, and these effing things won't come off either. I need to get those off, <coughs> so I can lower this section to get access to all the bolts I need on the sump. And yeah, I could probably manhandle it out and bend it and all the rest of it, but I just want to take it out cleanly. So, what an absolute nightmare. So, sorry about that. This video is not turned out how I wanted it to. Um, but I wanted to get something up because it's been nearly two weeks since the last video went out. Um, yeah. Anybody got any ideas? I mean, I'll turn the camera down. I mean, look, you've got like literally no access to those whatsoever. You know, if I had an angle grinder right now, I'd have just cut this off completely. I've had a look online. Another one of these cats is about 160 quid second hand. And right now I'd throw 160 quid at it just to get this off because knowing that there's stuff in the bottom is means we're probably more than likely gonna have to replace the engine. But to replace the engine, I still need to get this off anyway. So yeah, absolute nightmare. So I just want to say again a massive thanks to everyone who's subscribed to the channel, who watches the videos, comments, likes, and um, yeah, it's not the kind of video that I wanted to have today. Uh, you know, we've made very little progress, but we have discovered why this engine doesn't run. And yeah, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please just take two seconds, pause the video, hit subscribe. Um, if you're watching on TV again, just pause, scroll up, hit subscribe. Um, like it if you like the video. Um, comment if you want to send me any comments. Have you experienced an issue similar to this? Your car's flooded or you've bought a flooded vehicle. Have you got any tips as to, you know, the best things to do? Because I'm guessing stripping out all of the um, air pipes and things like that, making sure the entire air system is completely bone dry, um, making sure that the th there's a throttle body on the new engine because I can't imagine the current one's in very good condition. Um, yeah, if you've got any ideas, any comments, anything like that with regards to flood damaged uh, Vauxhall Corsa or any other Vauxhall engine, then yeah, drop me a message in the comments and uh, i look forward to seeing you all in the next one from me and all the family thanks very much for watching see you later where are you going today george to preschool, to preschool. where's the car going today car. where's this car going today car park. well yeah it you're right, yeah, it has gone to a car park. It's going to go and have the wheels all repainted. Yeah. 
make them all nice and tidy. Yeah? That'd be exciting. Why do you like this car, George? You like the engine, the sound of the engine? Yeah. yeah. And what did Mummy tell you this morning? What did you just tell me on the way here? Uh, what, did, what did you say about red lights? Mummy said we can go through red lights. Well, we can't, mate, because red lights are only there to stop the cars. The only people that can go through that is emergency cars, isn't it? And what sort of emergency cars are there? Ambulances, fire engines, and police cars. Police cars, yeah. Okay, mate, right, well, shall we go to preschool then? Yeah. Okay, mate, let's go.